Track Wrestling here in Newark, Delaware, Beast of the East with Kyle Snyder signing some autographs today, taking some pictures. Wasn't that long ago you were competing in this thing. No, yeah. What are your fondest recollections of your time at the Beast of the East? Oh, well, the Beast was like the first tough tournament that I wrestled in in high school, so we didn't go to the Ironman my freshman year. We didn't have any guys like qualify to go, but Beast was the toughest tournament I wrestled in the whole year, and I uh, wrestled... Uh, I think Matt Idelson in the finals one year, John Rizzo in the finals, and AJ Viscarando maybe. I think those are the guys that wrestled in the finals, and they were all tough. My favorite memory was me and my older brother. My, I was a freshman. My older brother was a senior. I wrestled 220, wrestled 285, and he was in the semis, and I was in the semis, and we were both competing at the same time. And I kind of like had my match under control, so I was like looking over to the side, and uh, he was competing. So I was like watching him wrestle as we were uh, both both competing together, so that was cool. Just all the wrestling with my brother and my friends here. Yeah, good memories. You said first big high school tournament. When you, when you came here and performed well, what did that do for confidence? Um, yeah, it helped a lot. I, uh, I mean, I always thought I was good, and I wrestled in different tournaments growing up in junior league, but I always heard about how tough the Beast of the East was, so when I won it, I was like, wow, all right, must be pretty good then. You've uh, taken a lot of pictures here, like I said, signed a lot of autographs. Uh, what's the most unique thing or funniest thing that you've had happen in an autograph signing? Something uh, somebody said or... Kids always ask me to like sign their like skin or their forehead or like stuff like that. I don't really, I don't really like doing that too much. But everybody's usually real nice and respectful, so there's nothing too crazy. Kids always like want to ask, go for a takedown or whatever. So, what has it been like not going to classes? No, it's been great. Life's good. Everything's good. Yeah. How much different is your schedule look? Uh, looks. I mean, training-wise, I got to take more of a break after the World Championships, a bigger break than I've ever been able to take because usually coming back from the World to the Olympics, I wrestle at the, uh, at the NCAA season, so I took a bigger break, but then going to wrestle in the Oregon at the end of January, going to wrestle in Bulgaria at the Dan Kolov, March, Pan American Championships, Final X, uh, Beat the Streets, Pan American Games, so... Uh, I'll still be competing a decent amount, and uh, but I won't be wrestling in all the college duels, and that's, I guess, the biggest difference. What did you do with your break? You went to Florida, right? You went yeah, from... I went to Florida for a little bit, relaxed. It was, uh, I wanted to get back to training right away, but I told myself beforehand I needed a break, so I, I listened to the what I had scheduled, and uh, but just relaxed, hung out, and yeah, hung out with the guys at Ohio State when I came back. How long of a break was it? Three and a half weeks. Yeah. Yeah. You're still doing stuff though. I saw you like paddle boarding. Yeah. And... I mean, I always lift. So the breaks, the breaks are just all from wrestling. But I'm always, I lift, always. What about uh, training this year? I mean, you, you had Taha, Akua come in from yeah, Turkey yeah. a couple times. I was well, just at Penn University training. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we bring guys in and train with different people. Yeah. Thank you guys.